Hey, hello everybody, my name is Mateo Salvador. Welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. We are right where we left off in the previous episode. I'm still just as tired. I literally just stopped the recording of last episode and began it once more. So if you missed the previous episode, we are starting to earn some money. Um, what I did is I went into my... Uh, in case you missed it, what I did is we went into here and we uh, canceled one of our contracts... Uh, if I could ever figure out where contracts were, that would be just great. Here we go. Um, we, uh, we were originally getting fuel from a service called Worldwide Fuel Services. We uh, canceled that contract and went with the cheaper option. Uh, we went with FuelGo, which um, 0 0.2, uh, 20 cents per liter of fuel versus tw uh, 40 cents per liter, which is what World uh, Fuel Services was asking. And uh, that has helped us tremendously. And what else we have done is we have removed most of our contractors. Uh, we sent a lot of them home, and we only have about 20 on site right now. Uh, they've been building away, doing some stuff. I'm actually going to send them home right now because I don't actually need them. So we can d dismiss them. Uh, we did build a shop yesterday, though, uh, in the previous episode. Uh, Gansey is uh, doing their thing here. They're earning some money. Meanwhile, this place is also earning some money. But yeah, everything's been going pretty well in this airport. Now, what am I going to do right now? That's a good question. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the flooring um, of this place right here. Actually, I'm not even going to do that. We're going to add different kind of flooring to this joint. Huh. What can I add? Oh, yes. How much does this cost? Oh, it's actually not that bad. There we go. Uh, maybe what we could do is add some walls around this place. I don't think that would be a horrible horrible idea. Somebody's leaving. I don't know who. Um, let's put some lights down. I got a, uh, we got, uh, blah, what did we get done? Some stuff. We got night flights done, which is really good. Um, we could do catering services, aircraft cleaning, multiple operations, advanced runway lighting. Makes it easier to fly in poor visibility. Possibly. Should we do that? I don't know. Project group, baggage security. Um... Conveyor belts. High-speed conveyor belts might not be horrible. Uh, multiple terminal operations, belt loaders, cabin cleaning, subway permits. Let's do subway permits. We might not build a subway right now, but just so that we have it. Um, you know, because in the later stages. Is everybody going? Look at that. We're in the greens. We got 57,000. Um, partway through the episode uh, last time, we had negative $20,000, and we got up to 57, which is really good. Really, really good. Our army of um, contractors is leaving, which is good. They're, they're all packing away and going home, uh, which is why we're earning money, because we don't have all of them enabled at once. Uh, all right, so then what I'm going to do is look at some stuff. Previously, we got a... Uh, what do we get? Oh, yes. Look at this. Hey, use my passengers to drop... Ooh. If I just need to... Ooh. Oh. Oh. Baggage drop, self check in. Uh, ah, this might be nice. Oh, that could be cool. So, we got a thing that allows us to put um, these guys down. We could now do self check in desks, self boarding gate. Uh, 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 that could be so helpful. That could save us money. Uh, but then I'm doing something I hate the idea of doing. I hate the idea of robots and automated tools replacing workers. I actually really hate that. This is a game, though, Mateo. What we could do is we could leave this here um, and then start building. Oh, my. That could be... You know what? That might not be a horrible idea to replace these with baggage... Baggage... Uh, with the uh, baggage droppers because we're still going to need... Yeah, you know what we could do? We could leave all of these, right? We could leave the uh, these people here, right? Um, the well, check-in desks that require humans. We could leave all those around. People still need to man those, right? However, if nobody's manning these, right? Because they don't need to. That could be helpful to us. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to build a shop. We're going to build another shop. Uh, the shop's going to be right here. Oh, my. That's not actually what I wanted to do. 6 by 18 Perfect, Mundo. Yes. Six by eighteen. Let's um. Let's put down some stuff. All right. So we'll put down a cash register. 
Uh, we'll put down... All right. Yikes. Yikes, I don't know if that's gonna work out. What was that? Uh, Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do then. This is 6x18, yeah? 6x18. There we go. That might be really, really good to at least allow some more space for these guys. And, uh... So we'll have chefs working here, right? And then I think what we'll do is, if I could ever find what I'm looking for, we need to have... beer taps and then add all of our other fun stuff coffee machines I think this just might be better for the long run there we go cool and then we need to add a bunch of tables down so see the thing is I re I think the reason this shop is doing so bad is because it's here this shop right here being in the terminal might do a little bit better only because of the fact that um, people are waiting here Meanwhile, while they're waiting, they could eat food. However, if they're here, I think the idea of the AI is they sometimes go straight for here rather than here. I might be wrong on that, but I don't know. Oh, look at that. People are eating away. I mean, they're not doing horrible. You got to admit that. They're not doing horrible, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't even know what I'm talking about. Just maybe, maybe, I don't know. We, just, we You know, it's fine because guess what? We need another shop anyways. We need another shop anyways in here. So we could do it that way. And then start placing just a bunch of uh, tables. Oh, but then I need these stupid deals, don't I? Yeah, I need these guys. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because you know what we can do? We can do something like this. Have it along the outside area here. There you go. Do I think that's going to work? I don't know. Uh, can I put... Yes. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe? I think so. Alright, let's see if I remember to cut out the bit just right here. I'm sorry, I just had to run. Uh, because I heard a noise. And, uh... I thought there was a tractor outside. Which means, uh, if there's a tractor currently in our field, I'm going to have to run out there and grab something that, uh, could be detrimental to whoever's mowing the field if they were out there. Uh, don't worry, we own the field, so it's not like I'm just putting it in somebody's field. Oh, wow, uh, we do just there. What? Now my air conditioner shut off. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's just continue building here. Uh, it's fine. We're going to act like nothing happened at all. Nothing did happen, all right? If you just believe that nothing happened, then nothing actually happened. There we go. So we'll just put some places down here they'll eat and they'll have fun and do whatever they need to do Ooh, maybe that won't be too bad but no we don't got space for that it's fine mateo mateo you just don't have space for that all right neither do you have money actually we have money we actually are doing pretty good on the money all right they'll build that place it's not big it's not a great place to eat but you know what it'll do especially for the terminal we have my air conditioner shut off because I had to shut it off because I heard loud noises. <sighs> Dang air conditioner. Okay, Summers. Here, excuse me. Excuse me. How are you doing? Ooh, you're not doing that bad. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, you have 14 hours yet? Ooh, you earned a good amount of money. How much money are we actually going to earn from this? That $158,000? Hold on, let me do the math real fast. So, with... 424 people, they earned a total of $159,000 as of right now. I want to just see something right here. So let's just do 159408 divided by 424. So that means that according to this, each person, individual sale they had was about 375 bucks. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I think that's going up. Rent and sale revenue. Interesting. Okay. Is that how much I'm earning from this? Is that what this is telling me? So when they finish the contract, do I get to play with all this money right here? Do I get to play with that? Because if I get to play with that, oh, that'd be beautiful. But uh, I don't imagine I'm getting it all in one go. Because if I was getting it all in one go, that'd be great. 
All right, people are still putting their baggages in. What do I have? I have a lot of email. Uh, bad uh, all this great stuff. Um, performance reports. All right, let's just delete a whole bunch of this because we don't really need these. I'm gonna, you know what? Let me take care of this email. If I can't take care of my email in real life, maybe I can at least take care of an email in a game. It's like they, that that one movie, uh, Chernobyl, where they're like, well, we couldn't put a man on the moon, but we could at least keep a man off a roof. And then he, they didn't keep men off of the roof. People ended up having to go up there because the robot failed. And, uh, well, yeah. What are you doing? Why aren't you working? Probably because who's supposed to be working there is probably waiting in line. Yeah, it's not the most beneficial line ever. Maybe we should put this... We should extend this somewhere. My... Oh, duh! Look at... Oh, disgusting. What are you... What are y'all doing? Why do you guys got all that disgusting business right there? All right. Oh, my God. I'm dumb dingus. I was like, I, why aren't they building that? Well, because maybe if you actually had contractors coming in, maybe they'd actually... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm stupid. Sorry. There we go. So now we have 10 contractors coming in. Uh, consider adding runway approach lights. Oh, good. I can do that, right? I was actually going to do that. Runway approach lights. I can't do that. Are you done with this yet? You are done. Uh, all right. Then advanced runway lighting started. Takes you 24 hours to do, it says. Uh, all right. Good. So you're all working on that. Uh, buses. We could add a train station if we wanted to. That would be real good. Real good. Oh, real good. Except we don't have money for that. Why do we have no money? Because Mateo, you're a dingus. That's why. Could I put nighttime flights now? Ooh, I can. Look at that. Oh, what's that? Auto planner. <sighs> That's actually really good. Oh, our my game. Hold on, let me just save it real fast. Before the game's like, I'm going to crash and destroy everything you just did. So then you have to redo it all over again. Hey, you guys remember Canterbury? Man, that was like over a year ago that we did Canterbury. Uh, that airport, I what did I end up doing with it? I think I was doing... Um, that one I didn't really like very well. And the game's going to crash because Airport CO does these things. Oh, good. It didn't crash. And uh, Open Broadcaster didn't either, which is actually surprising. Uh, okay. Look at that. KLM. Oh, not KLM. Uh, CLM. CLM? No. Uh, Edward Bay is coming in. Good. What is this? I got mail. Uh, welcome to the airport. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, do I need fuel? I do need fuel. Uh, oh, my. Hey, c can you dinguses? I don't need everybody. I only need 10 people. Why are there Why are there so many deployed contractors? You know what? Let me just dismiss them all real fast. They're probably already done with this, right? Look at that. They build like it was their job to build. Oh, but that guy can't get to a bus because who knows why. Uh, what are you doing? You're on aircraft stand number 8. What are you doing with your life? You're on aircraft stand number 8, which has a flight coming in. In just less than an hour. Yes, you can stay. That's fine. Uh, aircraft stand number 10. I think you have a flight coming in. So, uh, stand number 10. Yeah, no. Look at that. We got... Ooh, we got a jet. That's cool. Poor souls paying so much money. Uh, no, 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 no. I can't have you do that. I'm so sorry. You guys got to leave. All right. Aircraft stand number nine. I just can't land because blah, 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 blah. Stand number nine. Stand number nine. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Now, oh, look at that. They're done with this. Cool. Uh, can I just put down a shop? I, I just need to put down something here. Something needs to take control of this place. Whoa. Some of those places require... Oh, Hilltop Cafe. Cool. It's a one-star cafe. <laughs> Seems legit. What What are these guys doing? Are they... Are people stuck? Oh, there they are. No, he's not. Uh, stand number seven. What does stand number seven require? Stand number seven has a flight coming in. I'm sorry, but I can't have you do that. Oh, man. I just can't land because blah, 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 blah. I mean, we're not doing great with the money, but it's fine. Ah. Uh, no, can you line up and wait? Oh, yeah. Because that's helpful. No, cause you stupid... Okay, whatever. You know what? How about this? I'm gonna sneeze. 
Wait, sneeze. No, I'm not. It's fine. My phone's ringing. What are you doing? Actually, the home phone. I don't know if you can hear it. It doesn't work. Uh, you can pick it up. You can hear people, but they can't hear you. Don't look like anybody I know. <laughs> uh, okay, joy. Uh, let's just... You know, let's just add a flooring. Let's just be happy with ourselves and add a flooring. There we go. That looks nice. Actually, that almost looks like they're in a factory. You know, I was debating on saying Guten Tag. My friend always does that whenever he gets those calls from people and then they immediately hang up. <laughs> Guten Tag. Hello. Then just start adding a whole bunch of German gibberish in there. Uh, what do you want? You're in stand number two. Stand number two. Wow. Yeah, you can totally wait. That's totally fine with me. If you need to wait 10 years, what are you doing? What is this guy doing with his life? Why, why aren't you here? Why, where are you? You are somewhere that I would never know where, and I would never know why you'd be in that location. Uh, hiring date. Uh, hiring date, okay. Assigned terminal. Uh, aircraft stand number one and number four. Number one, number one, yes, you can definitely wait. Number four, I don't think you're so lucky. Number four, uh, no. Number four, you got a flight coming in, so no, I'm sorry, you cannot wait. We're earning money. It's good. Are you done with this yet? Ah, you're 75% done. Been recording for 18 minutes already. Jeez, time just flies. Uh, you know, I wish I could have you stay. Aircraft 1 and 7. Or 3 and 7. 7, 7, 7. No, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, 7, you can stand. No, 3, you cannot. Oh, that guy should not be standing that close. Ooh, look at how much money we're earning. Wow. And then we all of a sudden lost all that money to the... To the, the peep, the... I don't know. Aircraft stand number one. Yes, you can stay hello, however long you want. Why are you parked all the way over there? That, like, that's totally useful to the environment. Contract expired. I, I had to pay $8,000 because these stupid imbeciles don't know how to finish their contracts properly. Well, they're never coming back. These guys are never coming back. Why would I ever let those guys come back when they would literally... L listen, you guys remember a few episodes back, right? Those guys... Hmm. Little Caesars, like your pizza? You're coming in. Remember, the guys to Hunt's Pizza, whatever place it was called. I don't even want to remember their name. Their workers were getting stuck right here, and they could not go in here. It's not my fault their workers are a bunch of, you know, uneducated people who don't know how to walk from right freaking here into this door and then around the corner. Like, it ain't my fault. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Maybe Little Caesars workers will be a lot better. Little Caesars workers, I need you to come in. Oh, look at that. Little Caesars workers, they're all doing their things. ID number. As the cannot land is... Oh, well, you can land. Just land and wait, alright? We can put you at like a holding stand, alright? How are you doing? Ooh, you're not doing that bad. You, you are actually kind of doing bad. Uh, number five. Stand number five. What does stand number five have? Stand number five? Uh, no. I don't want you to wait. Sorry. Stand number five. Uh, stand number six. Stand number six? Stand number six. Uh, stand number six. You know, there's supposed to be a stripe error right there in stand number six. No. You know, the airlines are actually like us pretty well. It's surprising how much they actually like us. Uh, stand number nine. What does stand number nine want? Stand number nine. Take off. Stand number four. What is stand number four? Stand number four. Uh, no. Can I delay by 30 minutes? Like... Uh, auto delay, 30 minutes, just, just, just send away. Okay, prompt. I wanted to prompt me, because honestly, sometimes they can wait, and then that makes them really happy about life. How are these guys doing under here? Are they still doing really good? Yes, they are. I love that. Stand number three? What does stand number three have? Stand number three? No, I want you to leave. Good. You know, I'm debating. Maybe what I could do is remove this, right? Remove this here. Have another security entrance. That might not be a horrible idea. Have a security entrance right here and just replace this whole thing. That would not suck. Stand number seven. 
Uh, stand number seven. No, you have a flight coming in. You can't do that. I wish you could air traffic control in this game. That'd be pretty cool. If you could just, like, take control of the air traffic controller, that'd be pretty cool. All right, well, we've been recording for 22 minutes. I haven't really been doing much. We've been just doing airport management, all right? Just basic airport management. We're earning money, which is real good. Um, which means that in the next episode, we're going to begin expanding again. Um, you know, what we might do is... Um, let's just put something in for next episode. How about catering services? No, not catering services. How much money does it cost to expand? 750,000, 750,000, 750,000. Let's put in something that we could do uh, that we could potentially pay for um, for next episode. Uh, let's see. Belt loaders, cabin cleaning. That might not be horrible. Catering services. I think we should do catering. Yeah, I think maybe catering might do really nicely. Uh, belt loaders. Baggage security, tilt trays. I actually think that this might be really good. Let's put these ones. All right. We're going to get the uh, high-speed conveyor belts. Because my plan for next episode is this is what we can do. All right. We can, if everything works out, we could replace this entire system here with a fast baggage security belt. Right. And then have an automated system right here. That might be really, really cool. All right. Well, I'm going to see you in the next episode of Airport CO. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.